January 1st, 2000. The new millennium dawns, but instead of fireworks and celebration, darkness spreads across the globe. In our world, the Y2K bug was caught just in time. Governments and corporations scrambled in the final months of 1999, patching software and upgrading systems to survive the century switch. But in this world, they failed. The first signs were small, cash registers froze, air traffic control towers lost contact with planes mid-flight, hospitals running on glitching software shut down life support systems. Then, the real collapse began. Power grids buckled as utilities lost coordination, bank servers crashed, wiping out account balances, freezing credit cards, halting global commerce overnight. Wall Street became a wasteland of blank monitors and broken deals. Airplanes fell silent in the skies. Some crashed, most were grounded forever. Governments tried to respond, but their own systems were paralyzed. Emergency services reliant on outdated computer networks couldn't even dispatch help. Panic exploded. By January 3rd, grocery stores were empty. ATM lines stretched for miles, only to end in nothing. Cities plunged into chaos, riots, fires, mass evacuations. Without communication, without power, without money, civilization unraveled at terrifying speed. The internet, still young, still fragile, collapsed entirely. Websites blinked out like dying stars. Email servers failed. Global connections shattered into silence. The dream of a new connected millennium died before it could be born. Instead, the world fractured. Communities hoarded resources. Militias seized control of isolated towns. Borders hardened into battlegrounds. Old rivalries reignited without the global networks to contain them. By 2005, major cities lay abandoned or militarized. By 2010, a new generation grew up in a world without digital connection, without instant information, without trust. It was not a step forward into the future. It was a hard, brutal fall backward. And it all happened because a few lines of code, forgotten, underestimated, snapped the fragile threads of civilization. One bug, one system, one moment that almost ended the modern world before